everyone and welcome to St. FX. We're currently standing outside of the Keating Center where you'll be meeting us for Welcome Day. Come on inside. This is where your journey will begin. My name's Rachel. And I'm Steven. We're student ambassadors for St. FX and we're going to show you around a bit and what to expect your first step. When you arrive, you're going to do your registration, you're going to get your pre-printed photo ID, and with that then you're going to shake the hand of the president and learn about all the different services we have across the campus. One other thing you want to make sure you do when you're in the Keating Center for Welcome Day is to opt out of the health plan if you're already covered through a health care provider. So here we are standing in front of O'Regan Hall and uh, to my right I actually have Riley Hall too. These are traditional residences. Um, our other traditional residences consist of Lane Hall, uh, McIsaac, McKinnon and Cameron, and Bishops. For our mature students, our upper year students, we have Governors. We also have Apartment Styles, which are Power and Summers Hall, and also our West Street Apartments. This is a standard single suite in O'Regan O'Reilly Hall. You can see that it comes with a double bed, nightstand, a big comfy chair, desk and desk chair, storage, shelving, a fridge, microwave, and your own TV with free cable. Each suite in O'Regan and Riley has a full feature bathroom, four pieces. No more physical keys at St. of X. So here we are in a standard double suite in O'Regan and Riley Hall. Um, some of the amenities in these rooms, uh, they come with two flat screen TVs, free cable, uh, each come with their own desk. We have these awesome comfy chairs over here, two, one for each person. Uh, bonuses, we have double beds, night side tables, uh, full storage full of armoires. Then we have your own microwave, fridge, and then there's full size dresser and shelving storage up the top. So here's your typical room in McIsaac. There is also two desks and ample storage. And this is the typical lounge located on every floor. So the bathrooms in McIsaac work a little differently. There's three private bathrooms, uh, one around the corner and these two. And also, since it's co-ed, they changed it a little bit. And there's these toilets stalls here. And then, as well, we have own private shower stalls. So we're in Lane Hall right now, and this is what we refer to as the pit. Uh, this is home to the pit bulls. This is a standard room in Lane Hall. Uh, the bonus is that there's sinks included in each room. When you arrive to campus on Welcome Day, on August 31st, and you enter into your room, you'll have a check-in list. They'll give you a sheet of paper where you check in any damages that you find in the room, such as holes in the wall, tape rips, or anything to do with windows or furniture. This is so that you won't be held responsible if these damages come up throughout the year. When living in residence, there's plenty of things that we have to remember to bring. Uh, some of those things are things such as your health card and also a government ID or driver's license, sheets, blanket, and pillow, towels and house coat, flip-flops and slippers, laundry bag and soap, clothes hangers, iron and small ironing board, headphones, CSA approved power bar and extension cords, umbrella, raincoat, and rubber boots, sticky tack or rubber cement to hang posters camera, sports equipment, and if an apartment style, pots, pans, and kitchen utensils. There are also things that we're not allowed to bring to residence. Candles, a telephone, any kitchen appliance with an open element such as deep fryers, hot plates, and toasters. Nails, tacks, duct tape. If can't be hung with the rubber cement, leave it at home. Candles and incense are not allowed to be lit in residence. Leave your large speakers at home, anything that's illegal to the province of Nova Scotia, and any of your furry little friends, no pets allowed. A nice thing about O'Regan and Riley Hall is that there's storage under the beds. So if you have extra things that you need somewhere to put, you can slide them right under the bed and store them for the year right in your own room. Every building has a room for hockey storage. In this room in particular, there's room for hockey and athletic storage or anything in your room that may not fit under your bed. Here at St. of X, it's up to us to do our own recycling. Uh, we also compost and it's up to us to dispose of any garbage we have. In every residence, there are residence assistants. Residence assistants are here to help you with anything that you may need. As far as questions, they can redirect you to where you need to go, and they're also here to enforce residence rules, such as quiet hours, during exam season, and during the year. 
Each residence building has a common space, like the one that we're in now. It's an area for socializing, studying, or anything else that the students may enjoy doing while they're here. If there are any damages that happen into a common area, the people living within the residence are responsible for sharing the cost of those repairs. With your student ID card, you're able to get in meal hall or use your DCB at the coffee shops, get any sporting events tickets at the box office, use Debex at the campus bookstore, and take any books out from the library. 